If you haven't done so yet, pause the video and attempt to solve the question on your own before listening on. Our first step in solving this question is to draw a free body diagram of the bird. Of course, we have the downward gravitational force of mg, and then we have the force that the air is exerting on the bird to keep it aloft. We are told in the question that the average of that force must equal the weight of the bird, so we can set these two forces equal to each other. To calculate the work done by the wings, we know that we have to multiply the force exerted by the wings by the distance that the wings are moving through. It turns out that the force exerted by the wing will be equal in magnitude to the force exerted by the air. And that can be seen by Newton's third law. If the air is pushing up on the bird with a force of F air, that means the wing must push down against the air in order to maintain equilibrium. So we know that these two forces are equivalent. We will therefore substitute in for Fw the value of mg. We can now plug in the known values. Notice that grams has to be converted to kilograms and centimeters has to be converted into meters. And when we plug in and solve, we can see that the work done by the wing is 1 times 10 to the minus 3 joules. Now that is the work done during one beat of the wing. We're being asked to calculate the work done overall in one minute. So we're going to have to consider how many times per minute the bird beats the wing. So we'll take a closer look. So we'll figure out the number of times the bird beats its wings by multiplying the 80 times per second by 60 seconds over one minute. If we set it up that way, we'll see that the seconds cancel and we get 4,800 times, or beats we can say, 48 beats per minute. So since we have the work done with one beat, we can multiply it by this quantity and we should get the overall work done in one minute. It might be a little tricky. Let's go ahead and set it up. So if we multiply the two values we've calculated so far, we can see that the beats will cancel out, and then we'll be left with 4.8 joules over minute. And what that essentially means is that the work done by the wings is 4.8 joules in the one minute that they were asking. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you're welcome to send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to post a solution to it on YouTube.